So back at the beginning of the year, I was doing some drone photography for my listing up in Minden, Ontario. And basically what happened is that I was just trying my best to get the best quality drone photography for advertising, for like really showcasing my property to make sure that I could do everything I could to advertise it, to, to show the best quality within the seasons. And I did this back in, I would say February of 2024. It was great. It was just, just a beautiful snowfall. Wind wasn't too bad. And what I was using was this type of uh, it was a FTP, FPV uh, drone right now, uh, DJI. What happened was that the little bugger actually dropped signal on me. And surprising enough, even though I wanted the best to go retrieve this drone, I couldn't get to it. It was, t temperatures must have been around minus 20 degrees Celsius. The ice was not exactly hard enough to actually step on without feeling confident enough not to actually fall through the ice. There's, there's tons of activity going on the ice and silly enough, there's a lot of skidooing going on. So I was doing a lot of kind of like flight patterns for people who were like taking advantage of the snow and maybe being a little bit of a risk taker, taking a heavy sled like that onto the ice is definitely could be deadly or really foolish, but I took advantage of that and try to showcase what other people did. Uh, basically, that was it. I thought I'd lost this drone. This drone was probably about $1,200 or more. I felt like I, I just was so upset over like the lost footage. I was so upset that the drone was gone. And I was upset that it was also outside my control that it also dropped signal. And with these kind of drones, they have the ability to either have a handheld as well as a kind of like a goggle or your face. And you can record your flight patterns and like kind of do some really kind of really neat aerial photography uh, for your listings. So that's what happened. I lost this drone, it lost signal. I lost completely all visual through my DJI headset. This stuff is normally done by satellite and maybe because it was a cloud coverage that was over that day, um, that was it. I was kind of like lost and uh, I wasn't, I wasn't going to go to the ice as much as I really wanted to. My wife was like, don't you dare go on the ice. I'm going to kill you. Don't leave me behind with three kids. And I had to respect that because it's not worth uh, kill, killing yourself over getting a couple of little bit of footage, right? Anyways, that's not even the best part of the story is that I like, even though I got amazing uh, footage with it and like beautiful snow covered, fresh powder setting, I was defeated. I went back home, kind of like really upset. Was, and I was like, it's only like 600 bucks or place just the drone itself. Like you're fine, you're, you can go buy a new drone. But I was like, no, nope. Telling you, I'm not going to be able to get this sucker. So I wait a few months later and like conditions still were not favorable because the ice did not freeze to the conditions that I wanted to go actually go and retrieve the thing. And it was really frustrating because again, I wanted that footage. And that was the one thing I really wanted to get. Let's just fast forward a few months later. And I just got back from my lake house um, this last weekend. But just before we were actually going out there here in April, um, I got a call from the OPP and for you out there who don't know who that is, it's the Ontario Provincial Police. And they're saying, hi, this officer, officer so-and-so, we found a drone, wondering if it's your drone. What does it like give a description of it? Is it black? And they're like, kind of like, can I give the detail? And it's honestly, I was a little bit dumbfounded by it. I was like, oh, geez, it's black. It's like maybe some green to it. And obviously look how much green is all this fucking thing. Like there's so much green. And and they're like, yeah, okay, well, we found it. And so what we did is that we basically found the SIM card that's inside your drone uh, because a, a nice old lady from across the water found it on her property. And I was like, God, I was like, I could not believe that this thing found its way to land. While I'll show you the footage. It stopped basically on the shoreline or into the water. And I thought for sure it just basically stayed there and just landed right onto the ice. I thought it was going to be covered with snow and sleet and, and everything under the sun. This nice lady was going to put it up on Facebook Marketplace or like some sort of uh, uh, town um, kind of like classify as where they can kind of like post things and say like, can you prove to me that this is actually yours? And so she did the better thing and I got to uh, reach out to her and she's watching this. Thank you so much. Like, it's so nice getting this thing back. But yeah, she reached out to the OPP. They basically did a little investigation. They checked out the SIM card within the drone itself. They had a little bit of investigation work and I feel kind of bad because the resources could be done and for many other things other than trying to retrieve a drone to somebody. What it's worth, I'm sure they're just trying to make sure there's no foul play that like this drone is being good, is being used for the right purposes. It's not, it's not being used for illegal activity or like 
uh, intrinsic on people's rights. Let's just call it right. And so basically, give me a call and say, "Yep, come on, pick up your drone. We just got to do a little bit of paperwork." And that was it. Showed up that day, and basically just we got ring on the doorbell, and they come greet you. They say, "Yep, describe the drone. We got it for you." They just asked you a couple of questions, and then I got the drone back. And basically had a great conversation with the officer. They're very cool about it. They're very interested with it as well because. A lot of them are like techies and such, and they're just like love this kind of stuff. And if anything, it really shaken up a very small town um, was in the area, and I guess it was a little bit of fun. So, anyways, super stoked to have this thing back. I cannot believe it. It does work. If any of you are wondering, I turned it back on. I put the lithium battery back inside of it, and everything's running smoothly. I actually took it to the park yesterday to do kind of like a trial run to see if everything was connecting correctly. Uh, recalibrate it, make sure the SIM card was working. Everything is working. Shout out to DJI. I can't believe that this thing actually survived like know, two months worth of elements outside in the freezing cold. And I just can't wait to get back out there and get some more footage and also save the money on top of that. Yeah, if you got DJI, if you do this kind of drone photography as well, let me know in the comments if you had anything like this before. And uh, yeah, just super stoked to have it. So when you're doing lots of kind of like work like this to showcase your property, it's important that you try your best to do kind of like more like a real estate kind of stance, do like slow photography, uh, really showcase like certain things within your property. For mine, I have a nice, beautiful uh, wood ring sauna and I'm starting to add more amenities um, as, we, uh, as we're growing the portfolio, as we're growing the property and uh, getting more bookings and uh, it's just been a lot of fun. So again, I'm super stoked to get this guy back. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe down below in case uh, you want to see more footage like this. Can't wait to talk to you guys again. Take care.